still doubt that America is a place where all things are possible. We still wonder if the dream of our founders is alive in our time. We still question the power of our democracy. Tonight is your answer. Tonight we prove once more that the true strength of our nation comes not from the might of our arms or the scale of our wealth, but from the enduring power of our ideals, democracy, liberty, opportunity, and unyielding hope. This election had many firsts and many stories that will be told for generations, but one that's on my mind tonight is about a woman who cast her ballot in Atlanta. She is a lot like the millions of others who stood in line to make their voice heard in this election, except for one thing. Ann Nixon Cooper is 106 years old. She was born just a generation past slavery. And tonight, I think about all that she's seen throughout her century in America. The heartache and the hope, the struggle and the progress. The times we were told that we can't. <laughs> the people who pressed on with that American creed. Yes, we can. She was there for the buses in Montgomery, the hoses in Birmingham, a bridge in Selma, and a preacher from Atlanta who told the people that we shall overcome. Yes, we can. A man touched down on the moon. A wall came down in Berlin. A world was connected by our own science and imagination. And this year, in this election, she touched her finger to a screen and cast her vote. Because after 106 years in America, through the best of times and the darkest of hours, she knows how America can change. Yes, we can. America, we have come so far. We have seen so much. But there's so much more to do. So tonight, let us ask ourselves, if our children should live to see the next century, if my daughters should be so lucky to live as long as Ann Nixon Cooper, what change will they see? What progress will we have made? This is our chance to answer that call. This is our moment. This is our time to put our people back to work and open doors of opportunity for our kids, to restore prosperity and promote the cause of peace, to reclaim the American dream and reaffirm that fundamental truth that out of many we are one, that while we breathe we hope, and where we are met with cynicism and doubt and those who tell us that we can't, we will respond with that timeless creed that sums up the spirit of a people. Yes, we can. Thank you. God bless you. And may God bless the United States of America. The next president, the next vice president of the United States. Arthur Davis, your thoughts as you watch this. Charlie, it's a profoundly uplifting moment for a lot of us. I think you saw the faces of the people in the audience tonight. So many people are yearning for this country to come together. He understands that he faces challenges that no president has faced since Franklin Roosevelt in terms of restoring confidence in the economy and shoring up the confidence of free people all over the world that we can be a great superpower. I think he's ready for those challenges. Uh, his soberness and the fact that he has been so calm and composed, uh, that's a big part of why he's standing there tonight as president-elect. When you first got to know him back in law school, did you think this is somebody very exceptional? What did you What did you think of him? Charlie, it sounds like a cliche, but when you meet Barack Obama, and this is applied to those of us who've met him over the last 20 years, when you first meet him, you have a sense you're in the presence of someone extraordinary. Uh, 
Barack Obama at the end of the day will face all kinds of challenges as president, but he has the capacity to be a transformational figure. And he spoke to that tonight. This isn't guarantee anything, but it gives us a chance of many great things. That's what people see in Barack Obama. Not a guarantee of anything, but a promise of greatness. And so many of us have crossed paths with him and felt that for the last 20 years. Yes, we did. Absolutely, we did it. Good America. You got it right. Okay, this is, my name is Clyde Beard the Great. We're here to make history. Six o'clock, the line goes around the block, so I'm thinking it's going to be a record turnout today. Uh, I want to tell you one thing, Tony, it is voting day in America. Now, you may think that's a silly thing to say, but we're getting a lot of complaints from people who are saying they're getting emails, phone calls, text messages, or other information telling them that their particular voting has been postponed. It really sucks. I really want to vote. America will never elect a black man, not in this century, not in the next, in the foreseeable future, because the country, it, it just won't deal with its race problem. Hitler is anyone out there. There's still doubt that America is a place where all things are possible. Tonight is your answer.